To lose patience is to lose the battle. Mahatma Gandhi. Hey everybody, this is Chuck. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'd like to remind you that diligence is the mother of good luck and uh, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, we finally got a hold of the guy who sells the 55 gallon food grade drums. So we are going to head his way right now and pick up a few of those so I can get a few projects done today. Um, I'll do a whole video just on uh, making the uh, rainwater harvesting uh, catchment thing. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it, but um, yeah, so that's what we have going on. Uh, thanks for watching. Diligence is mother. Good luck. So I finally got some of these drums, uh, so I'm going to work on my rainwater harvesting uh, station. So I'm just going to rinse this barrel out, it had a galve syrup in it, so I'm going to rinse it out with hot water that should be good enough for that. Alright, so the materials you're going to need to set up your barrel for the rain, ca uh, rain catchment, rain harvesting station, whatever you want to call it, you're going to need a uh, spigot like this one. They sell various different ones on uh, Amazon. I chose this one because it was one of the only ones that came with a plastic well, it has a plastic seal and a rubber seal, but it, it came with two. Most of them only have one, and so I thought that it might get a better seal if it had one on each side. And it's also made out of brass. A lot of them are made out of plastic, so I figured this would be more durable. Um, I can put the link to it down in the description box below. It also came with uh, some thread tape, which is handy. Uh, so you'll need a marker to mark where you're going to drill. You're going to need, for this particular one, which I think a lot of them are about the same, but you'll have to check on the one that you purchase. But for this one, you're going to need a one and quarter inch hole saw, like this one. I got this at uh, Menards, which I found that Menards usually has the cheapest uh, hole saw bits that I found so far. Uh, most other places are really expensive. But, uh, and then you're going to need a power drill and a piece of rope or string. Basically what we're going to do is lower the back piece on there and pull it through. Uh, so you'll have to take your barrel out into your, uh, the area where you're going to have it and measure everything up. I took this over there and I figured out that uh, the best place for me to put it would probably be right here. Probably next, probably not on the seam because I'm afraid it might split, but right next to it. That way when I lower it down through the hole in the top, it'll be right here in front of it. That and the way that my gutter is set up, it just works out that way uh, the best because this will be facing back towards the back of the house where I want to run the garden hose to go to my garden. So uh, just determine where you want it. I am going to... Uh, Just use my little hole saw here and you don't want it to be completely on the bottom um, so I would put it right about right about there should be okay uh, you know doesn't have to be perfect mark the general area where you're gonna drill put your uh, Pull saw back together. 
Drilling any of these barrels can be a little bit tricky. So, um, it's best if you don't apply a ton of force um, or it'll just get stopped and it'll get stuck. Like that. Pulled the, I'm glad it pulled this part out there so I didn't float around in the barrel. So, yeah, just tear off all these little frays. Also need a, uh, a small pipe wrench also. So what we're going to do first, we're going to take this apart, and we want yeah the the this part is threaded backwards. So we're going to take this part here. And basically, we're going to tie a piece of string around it, and then we're going to get it down coming out through here what you want to do is just don't tie the string to it you're just going to put it on there loosely that way you can get the string off this might be a little bit of a pain I don't know. we'll have to see Of course I get it as soon as I switch over to the time lapse. It can be a bit of a pain to get that on there, uh, but how I did it is I just you know, tipped the barrel, if you can tell from the time lapse. Um, I didn't even end up using the string. I used the string to get it down in near the right location and then I tipped the barrel over, just put your finger in there and pull it up into the right location. So got it on there. So now all you're going to do is take your other gasket, this is a plastic gasket, and thread this on here. And these are uh, threaded backwards, so it is going to thread to the left to tighten instead of the right. So. Right side. That's as tight as it's going to get. So this is where your thread tape comes into play. You're just going to wrap uh, around here, I think, three times. Um, another reason you don't want to put it all the way at the bottom is because it's going to be a pain to hook your hose up if your barrel is on the ground. But I, if it's up off the ground, you can probably set it to the side and. Uh, not, big, not as big of a deal, but if you're on the ground, uh, it's definitely important to have your spade up a little bit so you'll be able to even get your hose hooked onto it. So yeah, the instructions say just to use, just wrap it around here three times, just to help it get a good seal. 
So just wrap the thread tape around it like so. And then this piece is going to screw in clockwise like any other normal standard screw would. Alright, hopefully that's good up there. That's it. Now we have a spigot on our barrel. Next thing we gotta do is just uh, cut the top. Mark the top, figure out where we need that to be, and then cut the top. So once I got everything in place where I think it'll work, I'm just gonna take a piece right here. I already drew the line, but draw the line. And now we're gonna take it back into the garage and uh, cut it with the saw as well. And this project should be pretty much done. All right, so what we're gonna do is just cut this little square out here. Uh, using a jigsaw probably would be a lot better than the sawzall, but I don't have a jigsaw, so this is what I'm going to use. I did a pretty terrible job of cutting this hole. I highly recommend that you use a jigsaw if you're going to do this same thing. Um, pretty terrible. <laughs> but I think it'll work. So yeah, so my spigot's down here on this side. I'm going to face it out this way so I can run a hose to the garden. So here it is, the completed rainwater harvesting station. That's what we're calling it. You can get those in the center of the masonry blocks as the miles and all about a buck a few. All right, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. Um, I think I got a lot done today. I'm really glad I got the uh, rain catchment set up. Uh, it's something I've really been wanting to do for a while. Um, didn't get a chance to put the legs on my garden bed today. Uh, we're supposed to get 8 to 10 inches of snow overnight. So I'm not sure what tomorrow will look like. I may or may not be able to get around to doing that tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with what I got done today. So um if you got any value out of this video, please smash the like button. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who keeps coming back and watching the videos and liking and commenting. That 
uh, means a lot. So, uh, yep. Don't forget, diligence is the mother of good luck. And uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.